from the ashes and I decided to skip the grinding part of this and kind of go straight to making the improvements so I've collected 19k and what I'm gonna do is see what I can buy and what I want to do is either build the blacksmith right away or the tavern so um, I think the tavern brings in the most money so let's see if I have enough true it's impossible check what are we missing I'd rather not what is it we are missing Marius tell me let's see what do we need for the tavern do do where the hell is it I know the tavern I think is the one that brings in the most money stone we need Tomberg stone so let's grab some Groshen and head over to Tomberg not all the Groshen just some of it Oh my god, I wish there was a better way to select Groshen. No matter where you do, this is the only way. This is so very annoying. Who's yelling at me? Oh my god, I have so much Groshen. I'm so rich. I'll just take this much. I'll be back. So, Tomberg is, I think, pretty close. Right there. We can take the old Pebbles 2.0 there. Basically, I want the tavern to get a bunch of money and to have Fritz. Fritzled. I don't know why I'm so obsessed with Fritz because he's such a douche all the time. Like him and Matthew just use the shitter to Henry. But, like, he's my connection to Scalids, you know? He's my old Scalids bud. But, I think I would be doing. This will be, like, the last Let's Play I do. And then I'll do a final walkthrough of Provislavitz after I'm completely done it and I'll do a little bit of a review on my thoughts after playing through the whole DLC. Because I don't know how interesting this last place I've really been. <laughs> it's a lot of grinding. A little more than I anticipated. But I still enjoyed the DLC. I've enjoyed getting into this role. I think it's a DLC that would be better played um, during your first playthrough as uh, like getting two Provitzel bits and then immediately starting to rebuild it opposed to me being almost near the end game and just starting it just started in a weird place I'd already spent all my Groshen so it might be more interesting as someone starting right away or as someone coming back after end game and finally having something to spend all that graphing on. Because this is my second playthrough and I know on my first one I was just like loaded by the end and I just I didn't know what to do with my graphing but this time I spent most of it. So there's a lot of grinding. But let's get our stone. So we talk to Rupert here. Thank you. I need stone bruh. I'm looking for the overseer of this quarry. Would that be you, Goodman? Aye, that's me. What can I do for you? Give me stone. To rebuild Privislavis, and he's entrusted me to take charge, along with his locator. Aha. Uh -huh. Like his so locator's secondary. <laughs> I heard about Sir Divish's plans. What is it you need then? Well, we've started with the reconstruction work, but we need more than just timber. Hey, I need some stone. stone. Yes, that's what I've been saying this whole time. I'm for repairing the church. Oh, sad well, note. Now, you're really not doing things by halves, are you? The thing is, though, very ambitious. We're already working flat out, supplying stone for the monastery construction. Oh, work a little more. I can't cut back on their supplies. So Divish wouldn't be at all pleased. Do you understand? Really well, 
I suppose I could try and hire a few more quarrymen to increase production. Oh my god, guess I'm gonna have to foot that bill. Even Sassau sends their own wagon here. Have you got someone to carry the stone? Yes. I've got my own merchant. He'll take care of it with his hired hands. So I've learned a merchant is the, like the first building you should build after the wood stuff. Uh, give it a try. The stone is for Sidivish. It's for a Yay! to rebuild as quickly as possible. I doubt he level up your speech. Of his own quarry is overcharging him for it. Well, you have a point. I'll take <clears> that into account. So the original was 4k. Let's see what he Oh, 3k. I want less. That's better. No! Oh, I meant to ask for lower! Ah, fudge. Oh well. Ah, fuck. Well, now I have stone. And I've done all the supplies. So. Let's go back. Well, I never. I might just fast travel. Because I don't want to do the run again. <sighs> I wish the fast travel was actually fast. Warhorse, help me out here. Help me out here, Warhorse. It would also be interesting if you could help Ravna be rebuilt and then eventually Scalids. That would be cool. That, that's close to the heart. But I guess Privitzlevitz is uh, Divish's jam. So that's why he wanted to rebuild it. Kinda lame. Very self-centered Divish. Uh, and I had to fund the whole thing. That's also rude. I was gonna stop for that attack, but last time I died horribly and I'm not wearing my full armor. So I'm gonna flee. Back to where I'm bailiff and no one questions me. And Marius does as I ask. Marius? Marius? I don't know. Okay, I've been waiting to build this tavern. I just want to go and have ale with my buds. If I have enough, oh, I'm backwards. If I have enough, I might do a tavern and a blacksmith and then find the blacksmith as well as Fritz because they're both recruitable NPCs. The blacksmith is Sasau and Fritz is still on that pub in the middle of nowhere. So, I left 6k. I think it might be more than that. Oh, I hope I have enough though after... Yeah, I should. How much is in there? 16k. That should be fine. Oh, I wish I would have asked for a lower price, but... Oh well. I might have not gotten it anyway. I want to build something. What is that? Tavern. We don't have a tavern here yet. Yay! Uh, that should do it. All right, up and at them, Marius. Let's go. I'm curious as to where the tavern's going to be. My God, Marius, walk a little slower, I dare you. I'm pretty sure the tavern is one of the higher earners if not the highest earners uh, for the buildings you can make. So that's why I've been very eager to get it as well as to hang out with Fritz. Mm, I guess the tower's gonna be the red herb, but I... Yes. I'll just quickly check again that we have everything. We do, asshole. Just build the building. Ooh. Here we go. So for the tavern, you needed honey, stone, and I th uh, 8,000 groschen, I think. 
so it is quite a lot. So you have to get the beehive, then go to Tomberg, and then grind for a lot of coin. And then you have this joyous place to hang out. Yay! Everyone's so happy. Ah, come to me. Ah, I love it. Let's browse. So there's the outside. It kind of looks like all the other taverns. Which is not a bad thing. Storage area. There's all the honey. Some wood stuff. Oof, some gossipers. Uh, there's a seating area. The innkeep, so you have- oh, an alehouse maid. Some more perpetual stew. This... This is a little sleeping area. Let me get my torch. Wow, it's cute. I love it. And back out again. Wow, I love it! It's a lofted area up there. Don't know if you can get to it. Oh, there's stairs upstairs! Ah, oh, you can sleep on the benches. Poor old timey suckers sleeping on benches. That's pretty cool. Let's go see quickly. How much the blacksmith costs? Although Marius has probably gone night night. Yeah, he has. But I, I might be able to wake him up. Oh, let's see where the tavern added. Yay, there it is, by the cow. Wait, no, it's the woodcutter's camp. The tavern's right there at the forefront. Cool. Okay. Okay. Forge. I have everything I need for the forge. How much money will that leave me with? Not a lot. But that's okay. I think I just paid my bills. Let's see if Marius will wake up. He will! I want to build. But we mustn't waste. We can't build in the. <sighs> I applaud your fervor. You'd be better off getting a good night's sleep. Uh, I suppose so. Lame. Okay, lesson learned. You can't build stuff at night. Not sure why, but whatever. We'll build it when we get back. I'm going to put on my armor for when we're traveling. A lot of my armor was recently broken, so I don't have the best stuff anymore. But, main thing is that we can now recruit Fritz. Or, I wonder... What I might do instead is just sleep. Make the blacksmith, that way I can recruit two people. And not have to do so much fast traveling. So I will... Oh, I can only sleep till six. I'll sleep till six and then I'll wait. <laughs> The waiting and fast traveling is not my favorite, but I guess it's necessary. Doo -doo -doo. Okay, Henry, let's go sleep faster. Just, I've been fast traveling so much, that's kind of taken it out of me a bit. Oh my goodness. Oh my god, the loading is killing me. I'm going to die. I wonder if six o'clock would be morning enough to start building though. Like it's clearly not dark. 
back out, so... Ah, oh, good, Marius is an early riser. Usually I wait till like 9 to wake up in this game. I want to build... Certainly. Village center. Forge. We'll need plenty of tools, and they'll need repairing too. So we have to have a blacksmith. Hmm. Right. That was weird. That should do it. We've got everything. Okay, I'm coming. Let's go. Wow, he takes off like sprinting for the record and then he slows right down to a jog. I wish it was like The Witcher 3 where, where when you run they speed up sort of thing so they're always in front of you. This way I can get in front of him, I can look back at him, I can make fun of his hat. I guess there are perks to both things. Uh, Marius, don't run straight to the tavern you fool! <laughs> I'm guessing it'll be where this pile of wood is. Uh, yep. We're gonna build it. Yes. Obviously, Henry. I'm ready. Yes. A few days later. I'll just quickly check again. We have everything we need. Mm. We've still got the means. We'll get stuck. Yay. Ensure housing for the villagers. Wow, objective completed. I guess between the tavern and this building we have enough housing. I wonder if they'll move out of the camps. Wow, that like like guy was just chilling. Oh, this is cool. Oh, this is a bright ass. This is the future women's lot DLC sneak preview. <laughs> Yay, let's go take a look around. Oh, there's a little area, stark area. There's the actual forge and the blacksmith, the default blacksmith, whose name is Blacksmith. We'll take a look inside and then we'll see what he's selling. Oh, lock pick it. Oh, it's not open yet, so let's just see what he's selling. Right here. So up, I'm gonna replace you very soon. Ah this is what I was looking forward to. Horse armor. Which is awesome. Uh shoes are designed to accelerate the horse's trot and canter. Cool. What is the travel one? Uh, quick flights from ambushes in the woods. I don't really know what the difference is, but... This is really what I'm waiting for. Um, armor for horses. Which is super cool. So you got a bunch of different colored... Like, leathery ones. And one metal. So I'll buy that when I get back. But right now... I'm focused on recruiting Fritz and the blacksmith. So Fritz is definitely closer. Well, actually, it's kind of a toss-up. We'll go to see Fritz first. And I will take my horse there. Um, come on, buddy. And hopefully I will see some things on the way that can make me some aggression. And by some things on the way, I mean I hope there's some people I can choke out and rob. Because that's really the main way to make money in this game. Just be a choke out thief. Lockpicking can also be very, uh... Um... Very good for money. I'm trying to think of the word. Killing deer is not a bad idea as well. I don't really have the patience for hunting. Deer is a really good way. Deer and boar is a good way to make money if you're not into choking people out and stealing their livelihood. And another slow, grindy way to get money is picking flowers. I think I talked about it in my last video, but picking flowers can, you know, get you a couple dollars for sure. And it has the added effect, you know, you grind herbalism and 
there's a perk in herbalism called leg day where you can also grind your strength while picking flowers that's pretty cool right now we're gonna stick to the murdery robbery sort of money making and I'm probably gonna need money actually Oh, I wasn't even thinking I should have grabbed some coinage to get Fritz to come. Oops. Oops, 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 oops. Well, maybe I'll kill a cow and then that'll solve that. Oh, fuck, the cow runs away. Where the hell's my... Moo moo, motherfucker. So, at least I'll have some stuff to sell once I get to the inn. He'll buy this meat. If not, I'll cook it quickly and then sell it to him. So, there's Tomberg, but we're gonna go right by there. Not sure if there's any NPCs there to recruit. Which is my main slash only focus right now. Sometimes I forget this isn't Skyrim. And I go on these wild jaunts with my horse. But look, it worked out. Hey. Hey, what's it? What the hell's this? A poacher? Get out of here! Dead son. Sucks to suck, bruh. Shouldn't have poached. Oh, yeah, I forgot the innkeeper's waiting for boar meat. Well, oh. sucks. Maybe there'll be some in this trunk. No, but there's 200 Groshen. Lucky playing die. The joy of gutting. Wow. Not a bad find. And I don't feel bad because he's just a dirty poacher, even though I'm also a dirty poacher. Yeah. Bye. Yeah. This is why sometimes taking the horse does have its benefits. Because you find stuff like that. Hopefully the guy at the inn will be interested in some of this, but if not, I have almost 200 Groshen. Uh, maybe that will be enough to get Fritz. He already made that fortune from the Tomberg stone, so I don't know. Plus, I guess, Pripitzlipitz should be generating money for me at this point. You get coal from coal burners. <laughs> Which is fun to know. Fuck, I'm in the water. Get out of the water. Thank you. Yeah. <sighs> Am I there yet? Music in this game is quite good as well. Give it a listen. Very fitting. Okay, is this the end? Oh my god. This is the end. Okay, I'm just gonna abandon my horse here. And slowly make my way over. Oh my god, I'm so slow. Wow, that doesn't count as stolen, the stuff I got from there. 
Interesting. I'm still almost just as slow, but eh. Let's see if he wants my meat first. <laughs> Keep Andrew. Oh, I need an innkeeper for Pervisivitz. That's a fun thing. I didn't know. I don't know if he'll actually buy this. Um, because it's stolen. I guess we're about to find out. <laughs> My god, beef doesn't sell for very much. Just go ahead and sell it all. What? Really? Uh-oh. What? Are you serious? I poach it for this sucker all the time. Let's go cook it and then I'll sell it to him. The idiot. No! Yeah, people don't like me here for some reason. I don't remember what I did. Okay. I'll just go ahead and sell all of it since I know it's basically fucking useless. So I'm going to talk to Fritz first before I talk to him, but I will come back to him. What do you need? I need laborers. Hey, what do you say to move into Privis Labs? I'm in charge there now, and I could find some job for you. A job in the woods? Doing what? Collecting pine cones? Rude. You're already in the woods, asshole. To hell with that. What good did honest labor ever do me? There we go. There we go. Done. No doubt I'll regret it, but I'll take you. Oh. Cool. So I guess he's coming. Let's talk to Matthew now. I actually haven't talked to Matthew yet. God, Matthew's an idiot. But I still need him. I'm running for this lab now. How would you like to move there? There's work enough to be had. How much work? Oh my god, lazy asshole. Henry, that's exactly what I am worried about. Yeah. You might have known. We've got a tavern there too, though. Why didn't you say so right away? He's ready. You, You're right. I'll get going then, all right? Yay! Don't forget, you'll have your work cut out. I don't doubt it. Another ale has the drink dry. Ha 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 Yay, I got my buds. Let's go talk to the innkeeper. So I guess... I thought recruiting would take money to convince him to come, but... Friends without benefits. <laughs> I need an innkeeper. We're rebuilding Privis Labbits, and I could use you in the new tavern. Are you mad? I got the best in the province. I know one to tell me what to do. Why on earth would I change that? Isn't there any sure. way you could be persuaded? Not a chance. Find someone else. Eh, whatever, asshole. I wouldn't say you have the best in, like I've seen better. So I'm just gonna fast travel this as so. And look for the blacksmith there. Any day now, Henry. So I'm gonna get the blacksmith, bring him back, 
And then I might call it a day on this one. So this has been pretty much the experience for the whole DLC is just building stuff, running around doing other stuff, building stuff. And um I don't know how exciting it is to watch. So, like I said, I might just do the final walkthrough of Privet's Labits when it's done, and then a review on how I've enjoyed the DLC so far. But this should give you a very good idea of what it's like to play the DLC, and whether or not you'd be interested in spending money on this. However, the money was minimal. It cost me altogether $13. I'm in Canada. And I got it off of the PlayStation Network uh, store. So, for DLC, not bad. I've, I don't think I've gotten a worthy DLC for less than $20 before, and so far this has been... This has added enough to the game to be worth $13 in my mind. And plus they gave you Hardcore Henry for free, so that was nice. Great, someone's already yelling at me and I'm in the loading screen. Cool. So once the loading screen is over, I will go to the map, find the blacksmith, and see what I have to do to convince him to come to Privacy. If this loading screen ever ends, that is. This is why sometimes the fast travel is not worth it, in my opinion. Because you slowly travel there, and then you're treated to an unknown amount of time of this. Just looking at this turny wheel in the bottom right corner, and wanting to die. What bad behavior? Really? I just got here. I'm being arrested? Okay, brah, brah, brah. Uh. Okay, bye. That was weird. Honestly, I have no idea what I did to piss off that guy. But, to be fair, I've been playing through as a complete maniac. There's the blacksmith at the top uh, in this playthrough. And just choking out people. How do I get rid of that little... Oh my god, how long is it going to say people will notice your bad behavior? Probably after I wait, it might go away. I don't know. What the hell's this guy doing? Huh. Never seen that animation before. So it's night time. I will wait till I can talk to the blacksmith. The other thing I've learned playing this DLC is how lucrative the side quests where you just go kill bandits are. Eventually you end up working for the Sasso douche, I forget his name. And you make almost 2,000 Groshen a quest. I think there's only two in Sasso, but... Um... Still pretty lucrative. 4,000 Groshen for taking out two camps. They're quite heavily guarded and manned, but still not bad. So it's a good way to make money in this game. Even the little ones leading up to it are not bad. There's like 300, almost 400 Groshen every time, and it's relatively easy, especially if you have a high sneak. I think the ones in Sasso, it's almost necessary to have a high sneak to finish those without hating life. Unless you're like 10 out of 10 at combat. Because there's so many guys when you go. Okay, this final hour, which is always such a grind. Oh my god! Just be done the wait! 
Oh, this is the guy I have the quest with, but I don't care about the quest. I just want to know if he wants to come hang out at Privis Lavitz. Rude. They say you're the best blacksmith in the whole region. The metal you tempered never breaks. Ha! Nothing but all wives' tales. Of course, some of my pieces are broken, but only ever here at the smith. No one's ever returned anything for you to rework, though, have they? Not that I recall, but I can't remember everything. This guy's kind of flitty. Meh, I think this is like the well, quest, but. You always stoked up the furnace till it roared gently, and you could smell the heated iron. You plunged it into the water, and that was that. Fine words, and no mistake. I do it a little differently. I heat and cool the metal to see if it can I ease upon the bellows, and after a Lord's Prayer and a Hail Mary, off it goes into the water. It's uh, nice. It's strange to think that I'll never help him out with it again. Ah. Our forge will stay burned out forever, unless I go back to the trade myself. It would be a shame not to, lad. Working iron is a worthwhile thing. Meh. Godly. It makes life easy for folk. Now, let's be honest, you can make a decent living doing it. Find out the truth. Okay. And is that all? There's nothing else you do with it? Well, that depends. I heat it up again after that, but not so it starts to glow. I just hold it like this at the edge of the furnace for a while. And then quench it again. Yes, but will you come to Privis Lavitz? Yes, although there's less quenching needed the second time, it doesn't get quite so hot. And how does that help? I don't rightly know. I found out about it by chance. I got caught short, needed to piss so bad, I left the rod sitting <laughs> by the furnace by mistake. That's how I found out if you quench twice, it doesn't break as easily. Nice. Why, but I've tried it enough times to know it works. Thanks. So, can I not ask him to come? Is there another blacksmith that will come? What the hell? I've heard it said that they say when you tell Oh my god, fucking repeat the ditty to no. I'd like to ask and I'd let's stop talking. So I guess he won't come? Maybe he's over there. How do we get out of here? How do I get out of here? He does have an activity giver sign. Uh, maybe that's who I have to talk to. Oh, I hear ting tinging. Maybe this is the guy I have to talk to instead. Swordsmith Fink. God be with you. Thanks. Yay, it is this guy. Ignore that other guy. We'll put good, strong steel in my men's hands. Are you interested? Or women's. Now, when I'm on the verge of forging the most powerful weapon ever seen, the Queen of Sheba's sword. Ooh. I've no time now for anything else. Well, I guess, can I help you with anything? Well, come to think, there is one rather delicate matter to attend to. A while ago, a holy man came by here. He okay. He'd come from the Holy Land, and he was selling various relics he'd collected on his travels to pay his way. All right. See? Well, I heard he had some fragments of a sacred sword that once. No, oh, I'm gonna have to do this before I recruit him. Sheba, but by the time he reached me, he had no pieces. And where did the pieces Oops, let me just. He sold them off to swordsmiths and blacksmiths hereabouts. They just keep them lying around at home for good luck. If I had them, I 
forged them back into a sword. Can you Go get them. I'm gonna steal that sword. I'm pretty sure it's the you most powerful. I'd be paying very handsome. Um. All right. Did you sell me it? I could do with a sword like that. Well, everything has its price, but this one would be expensive. Getting hold of the bit is one thing. Forging them back together is quite another. That tinkerer from Ratite couldn't manage it. Okay. Well, I'm in. It does sound very interesting. I'll ask them and see what I can do. Excellent. You'll see you won't be it. I'll pay you well. So I guess to get this guy you'll have to do this quest first. Um I'm not gonna do the quest. I'm just gonna stick to from the ashes right now. So I guess as a final send off, I'll go see how Matt and Fritz are doing at the tavern. And then when I'm doing this again, it'll be for a complete review of the DLC. So let's head back to Premise Lab. It's I'm just going to fast travel there. Because honestly, I'm finding it's the third time I've really sat down and played this. And it's not um, keeping my interest as much as I thought it would be. But it's just been a lot of this back and forth stuff. And um the payoff is pretty cool in the end. Even even for a couple things, like the blacksmith has the armor for the horse, which is pretty cool. And there's some items, I think eventually you can s there's a smoker. I don't know if that's in the baker or the butcher where it is but you can like smoke food now which is cool so the game does add a lot of content beyond just being able to build somewhere so that much that much is cool i'm not gonna interfere in that nope evade henry didn't see any of that henry don't know so We'll see, I don't know. I'm just not really enjoying the grinding aspect of it. But if you already had a ton of Groshen, you're at endgame, this would be great. I would love it. I don't know when more DLC is is coming for this. But there's quite a few DLC confirmed. Uh, no, no. No! But they've confirmed their stretch goals. DLCs are coming. But... Oh god, it's a dirty cumin. Why wow, he didn't even give me a chance to to surrender. I don't want to do this. Oh my god, no! No! No, no, no! I need to get the fuck out of here. Are you kidding? No! Remember to save often! Remember to save often! Oh god, no! No! Save your game whenever you can! Oh my god. Oh my god, I've died. Oh god. The humans. Oh. When was the last time it would have even saved? Why? Why is an auto-save a thing? 
why? Uh, I, I, I don't know what to do. Oh, Jesus Christ be praised. It's not that bad. <sighs> okay. Let's try that again. Damn. Damn, damn. Let me try this one more time. Then I'm Odie. Whew. Whew, whew, whew. But, uh, yeah, wow. You can get annihilated so quickly in this game. I'm pretty sure there's another one that I'm missing DLC-wise. Um... Treasures of the Past, I think? Is that a thing? It's like treasure maps that you can look for. Uh, you get some armor and stuff. But I'm sure that doesn't... I haven't, I haven't gotten it, so I can't say, but it's just stuff, basically. It's treasure maps and stuff, from what I understand. The upcoming, uh, there's a few confirmed, I want to say. There's like a, an infograph. There's a the Hans, Hans Capen one that I'm really excited for. There's a tournament mode, I'm pretty sure. Okay, let's try to avoid this this time. And then there's the woman's lot. Which is, you get to play as a gal. Which I'm excited about, because that'll really add... a lot of different... aspects to the game. But there's a couple free ones, like the tournament one I'm pretty sure is free. There's like a combat thing. And obviously mods, but I don't care about mods. I've never been into mods. I think it's because I've always just played on the PlayStation for all my games. And uh, I don't know. The only time I've ever messed with mods is probably for Fallout 4. And those mods are underwhelming for the PS4. Okay, let's go check in our pals. Wait, this isn't. This is the traders. Where's the tavern? Is it down here? No, some blacksmith. This is looking like the tavern over here. You're not Fritz. Oh, there's horses. There they are! There's my buddies. Sitting beside each other instead of across from each other. Glad to see you as well. How do you like it? So Fritz, keeping busy? Are things to your liking here? Oh aye. Not a dull moment. That ale of yours is nearly as good as we had in Skeletons. Aww. I might have known you'd be doing nothing here but sucking down ale. I beg you as long as you pay for it. Somebody's gotta make sure you're not serving up horse piss here. True. Let's see what Matthew says. Oh, he's getting a drink right now. <laughs> Thank you. How you licking it? So, what do you think of the place? It's paradise on earth you're building here, mate. Thanks. Only there's no one here but sweaty laborers. Couldn't you try and recruit a few pretty maids next time? Sure. They'd only run away from you anyway. So what? 
Have you seen how fast I can run? Wow. It's kind of aggressive. Okay, the last thing I'm going to do before I call it a day is show how the judgment works. So I can see that there's an exclamation point up there. I'm going to be a fair bailiff. I'm going to let most of it go. I want this to be as lawless as a place as possible without getting dibbish on my dick. So whatever this is, probably just going to be like, it's fine. Oh, I scratch take my mail off. A filthy, really? Is a liar. Okay. Wow. Henry laying down the law. I've got a daughter, and this fu- uh, Rook here has a son. Oh, they banged. And like you'd expect, the son is as much of a beast as his old man. He put a belly on my girl, and then turned his back on her. That's not right. You lying scoundrel. We're a decent, honest family, sir. But that daughter of his, nothing but a whore, she is. Wow. She's my son. And what's more, this thieving bastard stole my cow, too. Good. Enough swearing. One at a time, and settle down. What's this about a cow? What's this about stealing a cow? When that no good son of his will do the right thing by my daughter, Rook here agreed in the end to give me a cow as compensation for her honor. And I did. <coughs> Only then, that slut ran off with some minstrel. Where's the honor? Oh no. And besides, it could be anyone's brat she's carrying. Wow, this guy's aggressive. Tell me more about your daughter. Pretty as a picture, and a good lass. Oh, a little flighty. Ooh. She had her head turned by that coxcomb, and he put her in the family way. And then he wouldn't. What an insult! And who else would take her with a youngster? So we agreed on a cow in compensation. Yeah, a cow really makes up for it. I'm sure you'll agree, Master Bailiff. Where there's no honor to lose, there's nothing to compensate. A girl that runs off with some wandering jester. She probably want to get away from fucking this shit. That's what you paid for. True. Tell your son. son of yours. Well, he ain't the brightest star in the sky, but he's a kind soul and a good worker. He's dumb dumb, but he works well. Got herself pregnant and then broke his heart. Got herself pregnant. Okay. Could I rather give this bastard my best cow than my son? I won't listen wow. to this. That boy is a simpleton and a brute. And for sure, my daughter never went with him of her own free will. I want to know Lumir or his damn daughter. So I agreed to the compensation instead. What's the issue here? And no sooner was the deal done than the slut ran off. I want my cow back. Absolutely not. A deal is a deal. It's your fault I've lost my one and only daughter. Okay, let's make a ruling, folks. This isn't really one about law, so... The deal stands. Keep the cow. A bargain is a bargain. Whatever unforeseen may happen. The cow belongs to Lumi. Thank you, sir. You're welcome. I doubted your wisdom. You Who? <laughs> Where the bailiff takes a hand in daylight robbery. Then leave. I don't need you. Bye. So that's judgment. It's usually not like that. It's usually like laws and stuff. But uh, yeah, that's pervasive so far. Next time you see it, it should be done or nearly done with a comprehensive review of the DLC, although it's probably coming too late. Uh, it's hard to get these videos out when I want them. And I'm also not that concerned. Alright, so yeah. Bye!